Good morning everybody. We have just arrived into the beautiful Long Reach in Outback Queensland and we're super excited. We've just traveled a massive 14 hours to get here and we've arrived into our retreat that we're going to stay in for the next three nights. It's called the Saltbush Retreat and this place is beyond anything you could imagine. It's made up of an old horse stable that they've fully refurbished and made into single rooms. And it's absolutely spectacular. The features inside the room are incredible. They've used old furniture from the stables themselves. The beds are the traditional bed that the stable boy would use. They've got old features such as the copper sinks and the kitchen basin is the old school cottage kitchen basin. You have to check it out. It's absolutely amazing. Retreat itself is so centrally located and it is right across the road from the reason we came to Longreach. So let's go check it out. We're here with all the flies in the <laughs> world, I think, today. But as a full time travel family, we are obsessed with planes. So we have come to the Qantas Founders Museum. And for anyone that doesn't know, Long Reach is the home of Qantas. It is the very first place that Qantas took off its first plane to do its first service. And we're super excited to explore the museum and learn a little bit about the history. And then we're gonna go over and walk through some of their planes that they've had over the hundred years that they've been running. So let's go. from 1924 mil? Um, a bit dangerous. A bit dangerous? They wouldn't pass now? Could you imagine if we were to fly to Brazil in a plane like this? We just came across the very first plane that Qantas flew that had a toilet in it and it's it's a bit of an experience. It's a shocker. Yeah, it's a shocker <laughs> because it's a tiny little plane and then you walk down a tiny little aisle of five chairs and I think the toilet's bigger than the actual part you sit in but definitely would have been an experience. What is it, Mel? It's a toilet. A toilet? Yeah. In this little plane? Yep. So this is the inside of a plane from the 1929s and I thought it's very interesting that this is the toilet. Uh, not sure I would get up in the middle of this flight to use the toilet.
What did you think of the big plane pill? I liked it. Yeah? What was your favourite part? Um, the upstairs. Upstairs? The cockpit? Where the pilot sits? Yeah. Yeah? portion of the museum and it was so well worth it it was a 90 minute tour where we got to go through four different planes and it was really cool because two of them are completely out of commission you don't see them around anymore so well worth coming and looking through this big boy behind me is actually really cool because it was the first 707 that was a Qantas plane and Michael Jackson actually hired it out as a private plane so it's really cool to go through. So we're gonna finish off here for the moment and we'll catch you a little bit later on. So we are back at the retreat and one of the reasons we picked the Saltbush retreat is because it has some very unique outdoor facilities. So we're gonna take advantage of them this afternoon in this beautiful outback heat. So we came out here with the intention of spending the afternoon watching the sunset and taking some amazing sunset photos along with the flies and what we've actually been confronted with is some flooding which means we can't take that road there to the location that apparently has the best sunset in Longreach so I think instead what we'll do is we'll grab some local cheese and crackers and we'll head back to the salt bush retreat and watch the sunset there. As you know, we are obsessed with bakery food and one of the best places to get a good pie is an outback town. So we're gonna try the Merino Bakery, which is in Longreach. It's their only bakery that I know of. We're gonna grab some pies and go to a local park. So I've decided I'm gonna get a pie, but I've just noticed this bakery has an old school sandwich station. So I'm gonna grab a sandwich too because a bakery fresh sandwich. Well, I'm gonna do egg and lettuce because that that is like the, the, the one that will show you whether it's a good sandwich or, you, or not, you know? You either nail it or fail it. So we're gonna do an egg and lettuce sandwich and a pie. Yesterday? We tried the Merino Bakery coffee. This morning we're going to go to Casey's and um, we'll see how it goes. So People say Casey's is the best in town. Yeah, right. So they've got a lot of competition. One. <laughs> um, no, the thing is, the, the Merino Bakery was all right. Um, the other day we had some at Blackhall, I think, and that was actually... No, it wasn't Blackhall. I can't remember where it was, but it was actually amazing. Um, but I think Casey's is looking promising. It was open through all of the holidays. So if you ever come to Longreach, nothing open, grab a coffee. So I think it's super interesting that this place smells like a, um, a Starbucks that has been super well established, like around for a while. When you walk into Starbucks, it just has that aroma of like coffee and carpet or something like that. Coffee and carpet. <laughs> in carpet. In, oh, coffee, in coffee, carpet. Coffee in carpet. Like, it's like, like oh, coffee. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it, I think it's the couches. I think it's coffee and yeah, coffee and couch. Yeah. It does. It smells amazing. So we found ourselves a local park to sit in and we have 
a smorgasbord of bakery goods and a lot of flies with us at the moment as well. But I got myself a cheese and bacon pie and this is what I get every time I go to a bakery. So I thought I'll get the same pie so that I can give an honest feedback on it. So let's give it a go. Mm. I could hear that crunch. Mm. The pastry is amazing. The best pastry I've had in a long time. So the cheese on the inside, it looks like a perfect layer of cheese. And there's only a little bit of bacon, which is really good because sometimes I find there is so much bacon in there that it's just almost a bacon pie. And I like it when there's just a little bit. But as I said, the pastry is awesome and it's kind of cool that it's a square pie. So most of them are normally round. So Sorry, a little bit a different. Did you, did you never have square pies as a kid? N not unless they were like frozen and brought in the shop. No. All the pies at my canteen, I think at both of my schools were square. Really? Yeah. That's because they were frozen and bought yeah. them from the shop. No, they shop. weren't. They came from Steve's Bakery. <laughs> oh, okay. Hashtag Steve's Bakery, Liz <laughs> Okay, so the other thing that we thought we would try is the traditional Aussie sausage roll. So I don't, I've, you don't really see these too much anywhere else, but um, what it is is oh, in the world you mean yeah no, it's not, not at all. super common yeah. so what it is is like a, a mince normally like a pork mince mixed with beef um, and then it's normally got onion and garlic and all that mixed in with the with the meat and then wrapped in pastry I enjoy it with tomato sauce so I'm gonna put some tomato sauce on it oh Oh my god. Okay, so I went off pie uh, sausage rolls a couple of years ago because they kept on failing me. But this, I think I'll have to go back and buy more because this is amazing. So good. In old school bakeries, they always had sandwich bars. And I decided I would try, as I mentioned, an egg salad sandwich because this is kind of the best way to test the bread. So I have an egg, lettuce, and mayonnaise sandwich. Let's give it a go. It needs a little bit more mayonnaise, but all I have to say about this whole experience is I'm really sad we waited until the last day to try this bakery because it's so good. The funny thing is uh, about like country Australia is that often their coffee can be brutally bad, but maybe in 2021 <laughs> they've decided to do a much better job than they used to because all of the coffees we've had have been good. Um, Merino Bakery wasn't my favourite one. These guys here at Casey's, the winner. Um, and I think it's really cool actually because it's um it's roasted in Noosa, so it's a local it's a local coffee brand. Okay, we just finished our food from the bakery, and I feel like a bit of a wombat right now. I'm I have what people call is lazy lizard. I think I would much prefer to curl up on a ball and sleep for a couple of hours. Now I ate way too much because it was so good, but that's the end of this film. We are leaving Longreach today, so in our next film we're going to do from Outback to Ocean. We're travelling the 13 hours, I think it is, to get back to the ocean side of Queensland. And we're going to show you all the groovy places that we are going to stop along the way. So make sure you hit that thumbs up, like and subscribe so you can check out that film when it comes out. But until then, we'll see you somewhere. Bye! Place. It's amazing. It's a, it's a beautiful location. It's uh, they even have a in a what? <laughs> a egg. An emu egg. Emu. Emu. Egg. Emu. Hey, so do you like emu eggs? I never heard of an emu. Yeah, don't you think that it's funny that we call them emus, but every international person calls them emus? Yes, yeah, especially 
somebody from Brazil. What's your thoughts on the toilet okay. Um, It's not really any different to right now, is it? You know, it just it's goes wooden. in out of the ocean. Is that what happens when the noise, when you're on an aeroplane and you Yeah, it goes, toilet, sucks out and it goes, goes into the ocean, doesn't it? What are you doing? I have wombat. I'm a wombat. Why are you <laughs> I ate too much. <laughs> I have wombat syndrome. A normal like person says lazy, lazy lizard. lizard or something, but she's going with wombat. I'm going with wombat. 